Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are watching from. This is the West Ham Network. This is your West Ham Daily. This is Anton bringing you some of the headlines ahead of your West Ham week. Now, the situation is West Ham currently have about seven-ish concerns over injuries and illnesses going into our trip to rivals Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday afternoon at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Now, West Ham will be looking to extend our unbeaten run when we head to the rivals on Sunday afternoon. West Ham are in an upturn of form at present, and despite sitting low in the league in the table, but we are clear of the relegation zone by a couple of points. We are unbeaten in our last four competition uh, games in all competitions. Come from behind to hold Newcastle United and Chelsea in one all draws in our last two games. But there is some noticeable absentees. There are some noticeable absentees at West Ham. And this is something that we're going to go through today for you just now. So let me get started on it. Now, today, this man, Max Cornet, was, or yesterday, sorry, was very active on a social media account. He, he has been kind of reasonably active since he's been injured, trying to let fans know if he's going to be coming back or not. Now, having returned to training with the rest of the group at the end of November, he still, as it stands, remains out of action. He's not featured since making his full Premier League debut for West Ham on October the 1st and has been out of action for more than four months and with Moyes apparently still unsure of when he is due to return. Now, ahead of Saturday's one all draw with Chelsea, Moyes said Cornet had suffered an illness, but that progress has been made on his recovery as he remains in Paris for rehabilitation work. Still in France, said Moyes, being unwell for a couple of days. Um, except for that, he is getting better. And yesterday, Cornet himself took to Instagram to say, soon, soon, with a West Ham logo. So hopefully... Fingers crossed he will be back soon and what a boost that will be for West Ham. A player that can bridge the gap between the midfield and the forward line. A player that was extremely effective when he did play game time for West Ham before he picked up that injury. A very unfortunate injury back in October. This one will be like a new signing and I, I for one, I'm definitely looking forward to bringing him back into the the, 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 the situation at West Ham. Next up, though, Gianluca Scamacca. Russ reported on it yesterday. He's currently on the treatment table, apparently for the knee injury. He scored seven goals this season in all competition, but he's missed the last four matches with the injury first sustained in the 2 all draw um, against Leeds United over a month ago. And speaking ahead of the draw with Chelsea, Moyes said that he hoped Scamacca would turn return for training later this week. We're hoping that sometime next week, as in this week, we might get Gianluca back, maybe middle of next week sometime. When I say back, I mean back in training. We are hearing through the grapevine that we're expecting him back in the training ground today. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of an update. Maybe we'll see some images of Skamaka back in training and that will be very good for us. What will that mean? Will that mean he'll be ready in time for the Tottenham game? Who knows? Because we don't really know where Moyes is going when he comes across all of these press conferences as well. But getting him back is vital, but you want him back alongside all the other players that should be fit in the squad that we're going to be talking about in due course. Up is Kurt Zuma, having only returned from a two-month absence due to knee surgery in the win over Everton. Um, the centre-back is now back on the treatment table, and he did suffer a small tear in his thigh in the first half of the win over the former, um, his former side, Everton, but played the duration of the match. And speaking ahead of um, the game against Chelsea, Moyes said he was unsure when Zuma will return. All we can say is right now we are riding our luck back there because depending on who I'm going to talk about in a minute, Aguerd, what happens with him, we are left with Ogbonna as the only fit central defender and who would have thought that? And now it makes you really worried about why we got rid of Craig Dawson when we did. So there we go. What do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section as well. A player that has been missing from the bench, a player that many fans are calling should be starting for West Ham, Alfonso Ariola, um, has missed the games at Newcastle, Chelsea with a hamstring injury, suffered in training. Now, he's been the backup to Lucas Fabianski since the start of last season and has yet to start a Premier League match this season. His absence led to 
David Moyes naming third choice goalkeeper Joseph Anang, an academy stopper, um, Hedgy on the bench in each of the last two games. But he was pictured back in training by the club on Monday, a sign that he is potentially over his hamstring injury. And that is a big boost because, you know, the big call's there. The call is there to try and give him the transition. I still think the transition will happen at some point. I just don't know when. Maybe it won't. And maybe it will be in time for the new season. But um, have faith in in what's happening there with with Ariola. Next up, another player that's been missing for a little while, Aaron Creswell. He's picked up a bit of a virus. He's, he's lost his place in the West Ham side, you could say, and not been involved in the squad um, for the game against Chelsea. Now, his absence saw West Ham name just eight out of possible nine substitutes for the game against Chelsea. Um, now, speaking of that absence... Moyes did go on and say he had a virus and he's probably been ill for three or four days. The same virus affected West Ham captain Declan Rice, but the midfielder played the duration of the London derby. Now, fair play. I think Creswell's been a fantastic servant to West Ham. I think he still holds a very strong place in the West Ham um, squad, but you can't deny Emerson Palmieri is coming in and he's taking his chance and it's going to be tough to push him out the door and get him to to move over in order to let Chris will come back into the team. That position currently is Palmieri's to lose. Leave your comments in. Let me know your thoughts on that situation. Now comes to the interesting situation. Lucas Paqueta, who early on in the first half against Chelsea um, was forced off due to a shoulder injury. He, uh, injury. he did land awkwardly on the shoulder when contesting for the ball and he looked like he was in some form of discomfort in his right shoulder having having suffered from a collarbone injury in a similar spot back in October and speaking after the draw with Chelsea Moyes did say he didn't know the severity of the issue and admitted there was a concerns about the re-aggravation of the issue from earlier this season that led to Paqueta missing several games for us before the World Cup. Losing Paqueta was a blow and we, but what Moyes has said is that they don't know the answer yet and he has to ask his medical team and get that situation so sorted. It's a shoulder injury. Um, he don't know if he's popped his shoulder, if it's just the way he feels. He's got no answer to that yet. Um, but they're saying, is it a similar issue to what he had the last time? And he said, that's exactly right. That's what we're worried about. They're worried about it being the same issue because then your concern will be, is that going to be a reoccurring problem for us? But we are soon to find out how potentially good or bad the situation is with Piquetta. So keep your eye on the channel. We'll keep updating you as time goes along. We're expected to find out at some point today, potentially on some of the scans that come back with regards to Piquetta. The only thing I can say is that we tried to give him time to play on and get and play on and come back on the field just to see how he was in terms of comfort. But he did come off. Yes, he went straight down the tunnel. But if, if, if it was immediate concerns, then I'd be a bit like, well, why are you even risking putting him on? the field. We will have to wait and see what the outcome of that scan is. And last but not least, it is this man, Naif Aguerd. What a sensation he has been since he's returned from his injury. But he was forced off with 10 minutes to go against Chelsea with what looked like initially a hamstring injury, but as he was walking off, he was holding his groin. And like Paqueta, Moyes didn't know the severity of that injury. And, you know, his much of this season for him has been disrupted from injury. But we do know how um, much we would miss Aguerd if he did miss any game time right now. Again, something to look into is the fact that he didn't go straight down the tunnel. He went straight onto the bench and, and was iced up straight away. So that's po potentially a positive and reading between the lines, but we expect to hear what the outcome of this situation is, hopefully today. But like I said, keep an eye on the channel and we'll keep you updated on it. But with these potential, I mean, these players that I've just gone through, Corne, Zuma, Skamaka, Ariola, Creswell, Paqueta, Aguerd, you're talking about five-ish players there. Five, nearly six that could come in and break into that first team, break into our first team and, and transform our season. And that is where our luck has been, unfortunately. We've not had luck on our side. Lady Luck is not following West Ham right now because suddenly we think we're getting players back. Bang, to go out. Skamak is on his way back. Ings is on his way back. What happens? We lose creativity in the middle of the park with Paqueta and we lose the solidifying defender, tenacious defender in Aguerd at the back. But let's hope for the final leg of this season we can have as many of those quality, creative, tenacious, strong, defensive players back. The one I am excited about though and fingers were crossed we can get him back is Max Corney. That will be like a new signing for West Ham. Leave your comments in. Let me know your thoughts. 
Take it easy, everyone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Come on, you irons.